A while ago, I built this 2-axis gimbal for my T2i with Freefly servos geared in a 5 to 1 ratio. I found servos that use internal gearing just can't change direction fast enough to provide smooth gimbal stabilization. After that, I found a stepper motor driver that worked on an RC signal, but it was not precise enough for camera stabilization. It just so happened that right at the time I was doing these tests, brushless gimbals just started to become more popular. I decided to convert my homemade gimbal to brushless, so I bought two 21150T motors from RC Timer and a simple BGC controller. After putting it all together, I think this size of gimbal might be a little too big for this controller I'm using. Despite that, I tuned it and got it working decently. Here's some test footage. As you can probably see, using a two-axis gimbal handheld like that really makes it obvious that the yaw is not stabilized. That's the real difference between something like this and a Freefly Movi. When a 3-axis gimbal controller comes out, I will definitely use that on here. I have not yet gotten a brushless gimbal in the air, but I have parts for a GoPro gimbal on the way. The aluminum this gimbal is made from transfers high frequency vibration pretty easily. This makes the D of PID control impossible to get perfect. With a different frame material and structure, this gimbal would probably perform way better. Once I get this system working well, I will definitely be able to find lots of ways to use it. Once I get this system working well, I will definitely be able to find lots of ways to use it. Thanks for watching. Bye.